Getting attacked with a knee rod sucks, okay? And, it, and it's not gonna feel great. This is probably my favorite uh, escape from the, from the knee rod. So I wanna frame, but when you frame, make sure this elbow is tucked in real tight against your ribs so it's difficult. If you just frame on it and leave this big hole here, you're gonna be fighting that underhook and I don't want that to happen. So it's really important the detail is to actually squeeze your lats and your elbow in and then frame on his leg, okay? I wanna bring my hips in nice and tight so when I bump him, I actually get room to come back on the single leg. So I'm gonna do a really nice bridge now and try and throw him in this direction, boom. Once I get there, I'm low on the calf. If I can take the heel now, my head real tight, I can just come up into the single leg. I can come straight up into the single leg. Okay, and I have a bunch of cool takedowns from here. So, you know, maybe you could just step, circle down and take that leg. But you got a bunch of cool takedowns from there anyway. We're not getting knee ridden anymore, which is really important. Often when you do this move, his, both his knees will stay down on the ground. So when I frame in here and I bump him up, often, he stays down the ground. Let's make sure that we're on his calf. So when he tries to circle this way, it's tough. If you're on his thigh, he's gonna be able to circle. So make sure you're tight on that calf. Now when he tries to circle, it's difficult. All I gotta do now is drive and I wanna, I wanna knee tap him. So I'm gonna drive, well, knee tap, come around, okay? Now we're in a real cool position to either do some good jujitsu or Stop fighting from there, okay?